Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll be talking about mapping rainfall using the chirps data, all right? So let's uh, first import a country's database um, that is a worded uh, country's boundary. And let's subset um, uh, uh, a country. Uh, so let's filter by country and just select Ethiopia in this case. Um, and let's um, import the um, uh, chirps image collection ee dot um, image collection and provide the image collection id here uh, i'll name it rainfall and also do um, a couple of filter the first is uh, select actually the variable so you know this image collection has various um, you know parameters so i'll select precipitation uh, to select the, pre the precipitation precipitation parameter and also filter it by date because this is a long time series so I'll just uh, need only, you know, 2012 to 2017. Um, and um, this will technically filter um, my image collection by uh, data parameter, precipitation, and also um, year, uh, and then um, give me that image collection, all right? So the next step is to, um, you know, visualize these, um, you know, image, um, these rainfall uh, image so because this is a, a, at least you know spanning for five years let's just uh, create actually a single year that means rainfall for 27 so i'll uh, filter by year for only 2070 right you can see here 2070 january 2070 december 12 december january 1st and then december 31st right so that's one year of data. And also because it's rainfall, let's use a sum aggregation parameter. So what it gives me is that um, the rainfall, uh, total rainfall for the entire, you know, 2017, right? Okay, and let's map that. You know, this is a single image because we aggregated it and then filtered it by, you know, um, year. So if we map that, it will be just, um, total rainfall for 2017 for for um, this steady region right so let's call in this um, rainfall here 2017 rainfall 2017 here and just clip it by steady area right and then a maximum and a minimum uh, rainfall palette here um, I, I already did here this is just a rainfall palette that means the the different color code that I like to map the rainfall and just name your rainfall 2017. As always, I would like to adjust the map center object and here um, and provide my steady region and then just you know, adjust the zoom uh, zoom level and run. So this is just giving us the chirps you know rainfall data um, for 2017. This total total rainfall for um, 2017. So as you can see here, um, you know, these red areas are just, you know, pretty much low rainfall uh, and these deep blue areas are high rainfall region. It actually overlaps, you know, truly to the forest regions of, you know, uh, uh, you know, Western Ethiopia. If you look at it, it's just pretty, you know, forested area, um, heavy rainfall. Um, in this region, so it's it's pretty much um, going along with what is on the ground. And then if you look at this area, it's just uh, you know some desert area in in the eastern part of Ethiopia, like the Somali region. Um, so you can see pretty much low rainfall, uh, dry area. So that's that's um, a pretty good um, uh, exploratory visualization to understand the spatial dynamics of rain uh, over a certain region and over time. Uh, so this is an example for 2017. Uh, so the red indicating the, um, you know, low rainfall area, whereas the deep blue um, indicating high, high rainfall area. Uh, and this is how you can, you know, map rainfall uh, summarizing by, you know, time and space.